We left off reach this above. Simcha is one of the prerequisites to acquire Torah. We're in the third paragraph, said Kal. Below Zeki, the Omeka Torah, it's Oshtia Dato Tzluda. Because of the profoundness of Torah, the depths of Torah, first has to have a clear mind. You can't be distracted. Chain Omer Perakador, Omer of Nachma Yitzhok. That when it comes to Shmaitzer, that means to understand the halacha, you need clarity like a day where the northern wind blows. It's like it's fresh. It's like when the northern wind blows, it's a level of freshness that you're freshed and you're not distracted whatsoever. You don't feel burdened, encumbered upon. First, there's no distraction. You feel, like the Amor says, a uh, person says, I'm like Ben Azai B'shukat Deteria. It's like a person feels that he, he's, everything's going perfectly for him. You feel uplifted. Ravado came upon Rav Yehuda, that he was at the entrance of his father-in-law's house, and he saw he was in an exceptionally good mood. The boy You could ask him anything regarding existence. He'd respond, Atkan. That if a person has an open mind, he feels uplifted, he feels satisfied, you feel like nothing's bothering you, this is a, a fundamental for the study of Torah. You know, a person comes, the day begins, study, you know, you can't, win, you can't wait to begin to study. You're excited about learning. So that's Simcha, right? You're excited. Now you understand why you need We ask Hashem it should be sweet, it should be pleasant. Because if you begin studying Torah and you feel you're burdened by it, so what happens? If, if Simcha is, is, a, is a, a key prerequisite to Torah, because it has to be died to Tzlula, but if you feel burdened, you feel put upon, it comes out you're not going anywhere. Because you, right away you detra- you're distracted with the, you're distressed there's also it says you know the Lomedel Mashili Bechofit the Gemara says that the subject matter you study in Torah it should be everybody has his own preferences what he prefers to study Li Bechofit's the same idea because that has to do with Simcha you, you feel burdened or encumbered upon it becomes a problem The person feels fortunate. You know, there's like one of a kind. You know, you see it as you have the most precious diamond. What's the whole idea of you Right? Every day you feel like it's something new. Because if you always sense that newness, then, then we talk about simcha. Something, you know, you get back to it again. It's always something old. It doesn't have that excitement any longer. You feel satisfied. He says in the previous paragraph he had said, because it's it's what? It has to do with one's spirituality. If you feel it is like I feel I have everything. I have everything, nothing. I'm content. I'm not lacking anything. The whole idea of being Sameh Bachelko also has to do with this. A person is not Sameh Bachelko, you're always distracted. Right? If a per- in, in truth, if a person feels whatever he has is it's it's what's sufficient, so this right away ties into one's emuna, belief, into your belief. If you're not satisfied, it's a problem with your belief. That means you'll, Hashem is denying you. How can Hashem deny you? 
right? Whatever he gives you, is what you're supposed to have. That's the whole concept of Samech Bechelko. Shlemus bin Nefesh, bin Nefesh. But he says, it's Shlemus, he said earlier, Cloud, Ki Roy Lord, Shlemus Eloki, Hazer. Hatori, you can have to have what perfects you spiritually speaking only through Simcha Shi Shlemus Nafshi. Simcha is a Shlemus and Nefesh. That means I feel satisfied. Shlemus and. Right. If you feel you have it all, you Samer. That's Samer Bechelko. Is a Washa Samer Bechelko. I have it all. So you can only have relevance to Torah, which is the Shlemus have Nefesh. Shlemus said, key, if you have, you have, you reflect that Shlemus. No, 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 no. Simcha emanates from feeling you have it all. That's where it begins. I have it all. You feel you have Simcha. It's like, you know, Alexander goes to his farm sale up in Moyu. He has it all after that. Is whatever swarm he needs. Now he's ready to learn. Let's say you didn't start studying yet, but you have the opportunity to study. I have it all. I have it all. Or Hashem, I have it all. You have the opportunity. Sent him somewhere to he sent no it was a balafur balabusta say he sent him to Reb Zusha. What it means to be happy. That, so he says he says he made a mistake. He sent him he think the Rebbe he made a mistake. Right, he didn't know. And and he didn't even know what he was talking about. That he's lacking. Yeah.